He that dwells in the secret place of the highest shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Dwelling in a secret place is the first step in securing victory over the plans and agenda of the devil and his cohorts against you. If you're not abiding in a secret place, please do that now so that you will not be vulnerable to the fiery darts of the wicked ones. Today we'll be engaging in spiritual warfare against the evil ones that are gathered against you. We'll be employing the name of Jesus, his blood and his word to counter the devil and his agents that are working against the will of God for our lives. As the word of God says in Job 22 verse 29, that we will decree a thing on earth and it will be established to us and light will shine upon our part. We have the authority to say what we want and it will be done according to what we have said. So let us pray. Let's pray using Psalm 91 verses 1 to 16. According to the word of God in Psalm 91 verse 1 which says, He that dwells in the secret place of the highest shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I therefore decree over you that you will dwell in the secret place of the highest and you will abide under the shadow of the Almighty and as you do these you will abide in safety in the name of Jesus. Verse 2 says that you will always say of the Lord that he is your refuge and your fortress. You will also trust and always trust him for your safety and protection in the name of Jesus. The Lord will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall trust. His shield will always be your shield and buckler in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in that name I pray for you that you would never be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. The Lord would always make the evil of the night not to come near your household, and all the arrows of the wicked ones shot at you will backfire in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you would not be scared of the evil things that are at work every night, and your heart will be garrisoned against the disaster that strikes at noonday in Jesus' name. A thousand would fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but they will not come near you. Only with your eyes should you see the reward of the wicked. I pray for you that you will always make the Lord your refuge and your habitation against the attacks of the evil ones in Jesus name. I decree over you and your family that no evil will befall you and no plague will come near your dwelling in the name of Jesus, I release the ministry of angels to begin to take charge of you. They will keep you in all your ways. You will be protected by the angels that are assigned over you in Jesus' name. The angels of the Lord assigned over you will ensure that no evil will befall you and they will ensure that you do not fall into the traps of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in verse 3 which says, Surely he shall deliver you from the trap of the trappers and from the noisome pestilence. I stand upon it and I decree that the Lord would deliver you from the trap of the trappers and the noisome pestilence would not come near you and your loved ones by the power in the name of Jesus. From today, you will tread upon all forces of darkness that are sent to harm you. You will always emerge victorious against the wicked ones that are come against you in Jesus' name. I pray for you that the Lord would always set his love upon you and the banner of his love and name will be lifted high above all other names that are working contrary to the will of God for your life. And as the Lord has set his love upon you, you will always set your love upon him. And as you do this, the Lord will deliver you and set you on high in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that as you call upon the name of the Lord daily, he will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. The Lord will deliver you and honor you. You will be satisfied with long life and prosperity by the Lord. I also decree over you that you will be shown the salvation of the Lord in times of need in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord would fight for you and you would hold your peace. 
you will not live the presence of God and as you stay in his presence you will be satisfied with all the good things of life in Jesus name I pray that you will always praise the name of Jesus and you will always make a joyful noise to the Lord to the shame of the devil and his cohorts in Jesus name the battle is of the Lord it is not yours the word of God says in Exodus 14 14 that the Lord would fight for you and you will hold your peace having this mindset will make you realize that without the help of God you would not triumph over the wicked ones that are plotting to hurt you you are triumphant already in Christ when he died, went to hell and collected the keys of death seen at the grave from the devil. But despite this victory, you need to still enforce it because the devil never stops trying to wage war against God's children. The Bible emphatically told us in Ephesians 6.12 that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Our battle is not a kind of one, it is a spiritual one, and that is why we must not be casual when we are dealing with the powers of darkness. The kingdom of God must be enforced on earth with violence because the wicked ones will fight vehemently against it coming through. We'll be using Psalm 35 as our reference point to war against the devil and his cohorts. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will give us flawless victory against the wicked ones that are gathered against us even now. According to word of God in Psalm 35 verse 1, Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. I decree over you today that the Lord will plead your cause against those that strive with you. He will also fight against those that are fighting against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 2 of the same scripture says that the Lord will take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for your help by reason of the word of God. I decree over you that the Lord would arise for your help against those that are fighting against you. He would take hold of shield and buckler to war against the evil ones gathered against you in the name of Jesus. Verse 3 says that the Lord would draw out also the spare and stop the war against them that persecute you. He will say unto your soul, I am your salvation. And therefore pray for you that the Lord would arise to war against the wicked ones that are fighting against you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that all those that are fighting against you will be confounded and put to shame that seek after your soul. They will be turned back and brought to confusion that devise your hurt in the mighty name of Jesus. Wicked ones that are devising their evil plans against you and your family will be as chaff before the wind and the angel of the Lord will chase them in the name of Jesus. I decree that the ways of the wicked ones will be dark and slippery and the angel of the Lord will persecute them day and night. I pray for you that all the pits and traps the wicked ones have laid for you will not catch up with you. I decree that they will fall into the pits and traps that they have set for you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that destruction will come upon the evil ones at unaware time and they will fall into the trap that they have set for you in the name of Jesus. Your soul will always be joyful in the Lord as the Lord would always show himself strong and mighty on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. The name of the Lord will deliver you and all your loved ones from those that are too strong for you and he will keep you far away from the spoilers. Anyone that is plotting to return the good you have done for them for evil will not see the light of a new day in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord would not be silent for long concerning your case. He will arise in his holy anger and scatter all the wicked ones that are fighting against you and your family. 
I pray for you that the wicked ones will not wrongfully rejoice over you and your loved ones. You will always be the one to rejoice over the enemies as the Lord would always give you a sweet victory over the wicked ones that are plotting to put you into shame in the name of Jesus. You will always give the Lord thanks in a great congregation as he will always make you victorious over the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. There is safety for you and your family because they that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The enemies will always try so hard to make sure that you leave the secret place of the Most High so that you will be vulnerable to his attacks. Fear not, for he who is on your side is more than they that are on the other side. The Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 4, God will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and wall. You are covered and shielded from all the traps of the wicked ones. Do not be scared of the devices of the powers of darkness against you. We will be praying for protection and safety for you and all members of your household. And so let us pray together with faith and in faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the confidence that we have even in you. That when we ever come to you, you are ever ready to listen to us and so in the name of Jesus I pray and declare and everyone under the sound of my voice I pray for you that the Lord will keep you safe from all the traps of the wicked ones in Jesus name Psalm 23 verses 2 to 4 say that the Lord will lead you beside the still waters he will guide you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake Even though you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil for God is with you. His rod and his staff will comfort you. I decree over you and your family that all these will be your portion and that of your families in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in Psalm 25 verses 20 to 21, you will be secured and guarded by the Lord and you will not be ashamed for the Lord will be your refuge. The Lord would always be your ever present help in times of trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 34, 18 says that the Lord will save those who are crushed in the spirit. I pray for you that any way you might be low in spirit, you will be saved by the Lord in Jesus' name. He will hide you in the day in his tabernacle in the day of trouble. He will hide you in a secret place and he will lift you up on a rock in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 55 2 says that you should cast your burden to the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. I pray for you and your family that you will cast your burden to the Lord and as you do that, he will sustain you in all areas of your life. The Lord will be your light and salvation. You will not fear. The Lord will be the strength of your life and you will not be afraid of what the wicked ones can do against you. You will always lift up your eyes to the hill because that is where your help will come from the Lord in the name of Jesus. The Lord will always watch over you in your going out and your coming in throughout this year. And I pray also that the Lord will be the shade on your right hand. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but they shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked that are gathered against you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that the Lord will protect you from all evil. He will also preserve your soul in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 4 verse 8 that you will lie down and sleep for the Lord will cause you to dwell in safety. I pray for you today that any time you lie down to sleep, the Lord will make you to sleep in peace and you will not be attacked by the evil ones. 
You will always take refuge in the secret place of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, as you have taken refuge in the Lord, you will never be put to shame. I pray for you that any time you call upon the name of the Lord, He will arise and save you from the mouth of the wicked ones. He will be your strength and shield. I also pray for you that you will always put your trust in Him. I pray for you that the Lord will rescue you from those who attack you and will keep you secured from the snares of the trappers in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that even though you walk in the midst of trouble, the Lord will revive you and keep you safe and the Lord will reach out with his mighty hands against the wrath of your enemies. The Lord's right hand will always save you in Jesus name. Only God can deliver you from the mouth of the wicked. Deliverance without God is never complete. When Jesus died, he gave us salvation. Salvation itself in Hebrew means zozoe, which means prosperity, healing, and deliverance. The very first deliverance that you experienced according to Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 was the one in which you were delivered from the power of darkness and translated into the kingdom of his dear son. You were delivered from the grip of sin, death and the grave. This deliverance paved way for all other kinds of deliverances. You might be experiencing oppression, suppression and obsession from the powers of the wicked. But the good news is that you have been delivered already. You are to enforce that deliverance using the word of God. The Bible says in Psalm 50 verse 15 that you should call upon the Lord in the day of trouble. He will deliver you and will glorify him in return. We will be calling on the name of the Lord today so as to get delivered from those things that are causing you heartaches and troubles. Let us pray. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will deliver us from the wicked ones that are plotting our downfall in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalms 34 verse 17 that the righteous cries, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their trouble. According to the word of God, and I decree over you that as you cry unto the Lord, he will hear you and deliver you out of all your troubles in Jesus name. Psalm 107 verse 6 says, They cried unto the Lord in their trouble and it delivered him out of their distresses. As you cry to the Lord today, he will deliver you from all your distresses in Jesus name. According to the word of God in Psalm 34 verse 4, which says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I stand upon the word of God and I make a decree that as you seek the Lord, he will hear you and deliver you from all your fears in Jesus name. You would no longer be entangled again with the yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will stand fast in the liberty that Christ has made you free in Jesus name John 8 32 says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free by reason of the word of God I pray for you that the truth who you know who happens to be the Lord Jesus will set you free from all forms of bondage oppression suppression and obsession that you are going through in Jesus name from today, I decree according to the word of God in Romans six fourteen, which says that sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace that you would no longer struggle with any sinful habits in Jesus name. The Lord will deliver you from all temptations and he will reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished in Jesus name. I decree over you that the Lord will restore to you the years that the caterpillar, the cankerworm and the palmer worm have eaten. All mountains in front of you preventing your progress are leveled. The Lord will make haste to deliver you in the name of Jesus. 
Psalm 91 verse 13 says, You will tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and dragon, you trample under your feet. According to the word of God, I pray for you that you exercise the authority that you have against the powers of darkness that are gathered against you in Jesus' name. You will not be afraid, rather you will stand still and see the salvation of the Lord which he will accomplish for you today in Jesus' name. God will go right before you to fight for you and deliver you from the powers of the enemies in Jesus' name. You receive the power to wait patiently on the Lord and as you do that, God will incline his ears to you and bring you out of the horrible pit the enemy has placed you in. I also pray that you will be given a new song of deliverance that you will sing in the presence of your enemies to spite them in the mighty name of Jesus. God will arise today on your behalf and all the wicked ones that are guarded against you will be scattered in the name of Jesus. As smoke is driven away, so will God drive your oppressors far away from you in Jesus' name. I decree over you that your hand is lifted up against your adversaries and all your enemies shall be cut off in the name of Jesus. Your burdens will be lifted off your shoulders and the yokes on your shoulders are destroyed by the reason of the anointing upon you in the name of Jesus. Even if you pass through the waters, God will always be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. And even if you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned in the name of Jesus. I decree that whenever the enemies come against you, the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against them in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says that if God does not watch over a city, the watchman watches but in vain. God is the only one that can watch over you day and night and you are assured of safety, security and peace of mind. When you go out, you should be rest assured that you are being watched by God because you are the apple of God's eyes. He will neither sleep nor slumber when it comes to protecting you. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says that you should call upon him in times of trouble. He will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you don't know of. We will be praying together that the Lord will protect us from the traps and schemes of the wicked ones. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord would keep you safe and secure from the evil ones. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. By the power in the word of God, I pray that the Lord would establish and guard you against the evil one in Jesus' name. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. I decree over you today that the Lord would always be your refuge and strength and you would be helped by the Lord in Jesus' name. According to the word of God in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, which says, Be strong and be courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He would not leave you or forsake you. I decree that you will not be in fear of the wicked. I pray for you that your going out and coming in is blessed in the name of Jesus. You will not fear for God is with you. You will be strengthened and God will help you and uphold you with his right hand in Jesus' name. Psalm 34 verse 7 says that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and deliver them. According to the word of God, and I pray that you are always protected by the angel of the Lord and you will be delivered from trouble by the angel of the Lord in Jesus' name. God will always be your hiding place and he will preserve you from trouble. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will be surrounded with shouts of deliverance in Jesus' name. Proverbs 2.11 says, Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. According to the word of God, I pray you will be protected by discretion and you will be guarded by understanding the word of God. Proverbs 4, 6 says you should not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her 
and she will watch over you. By reason of the word of God, I pray for you that the wisdom of God in you will protect you as you love her. She will watch over you in the name of Jesus. And I decree that you will always take refuge in God as you do this. You will be God. I also pray for you that the Lord will spread his protection over you and all your loved ones. You will be answered by the Lord when you are distressed. God will protect you from the teeth of the evil ones in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you will be protected by the Lord in dangerous places. I stand upon the word of God and I decree that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I judge any tongue that rises up against you in the name of Jesus. Since you are the apple of God's eyes, God will keep you and he will hide you in the shadow of his wings from the wicked who are out to destroy you. The Lord will be your shepherd and you will not fear. Even if you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil because God is with you. I decree by the word of God over you that the Lord will rescue you from evil attack and will bring you safely into his heavenly kingdom in Jesus name. You will always hide in the name of the Lord because it is a strong tower and as you do that you will find safety and security in the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus you are healed. God is interested in your general well-being, both in your health and in your finance. The healing that God has given to you was made perfect over 2,000 years ago. When you are sick, you are to engage the blood of Jesus when you have any infirmity. The Word of God says that Jesus is the balm of Gilead and if you need to be healed, you should come to him for healing. So let us pray. Jeremiah 17 verse 14 says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that you are healed in your body and in your mind in the name of Jesus. According to the same Jeremiah 33 verse 6, Behold, I will bring to you health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. I decree over you that the Lord will bring healing to you and any member of your family that is suffering from any form of illness. And I also decree that the Lord will reveal to you abundance of prosperity and security. Since Jesus bore your sins in his body on the tree, we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed from all forms of sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. I pray for any of your loved ones that is on a sick bed. They are restored even right now to perfect health in Jesus name. Psalm 147 verse 3 says that he heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will heal any of your loved ones that is heartbroken and the Lord will bind up their wounds in Jesus' name. Proverbs 17 verse 22, A joyful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. I pray for you that you will always be joyful, no matter the situation or circumstance in the name of Jesus. The prayer of faith, the word of God says, will save any member of your family that is afflicted in the body, even now in the name of Jesus. You are healed in your body, soul and mind. Your whole being will bless the Lord and you will neither forget all his good deeds as the Lord will heal you in your body in the name of Jesus. You will always speak pleasant words that are like a flowing honey and these words will bring healing to your bones in the mighty name of Jesus. Proverbs 29 verse 1 says that one who stays stubborn after many corrections will be suddenly broken beyond healing. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you would not be stubborn to godly counsel which will make you suddenly broken beyond healing in the name of Jesus.
The Lord in his mercy will heal you and all your loved ones from all forms of infirmities in the mighty name of Jesus. I send forth the word of God to heal you from all infirmities and you are delivered from the oppression of strange diseases in the name of Jesus. By the power in that mighty name, I bind all powers of the enemies that are seeking to afflict your body with sickness and disease. I lose you and set you free from all diseases that run in your family lineage in the name of Jesus. As you cry out to the Lord today for healing, the Lord will arise in his mercy and heal you. I plead the blood of Jesus over your body, soul and spirit and I decree that you are made whole by the blood of Jesus. I pray that there is a restoration of your health back to normal. You will walk in sound health that is void of sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. And I pray that any part of your body that needs to be replaced is replaced right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord will cause you not to spend your resources on sicknesses in the name of Jesus. I decree the sickness and disease will not cut short your life. You will live long to fulfill your number of days on earth in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the good work of God which has begun in your health is perfected in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you blessed Lord for answering our prayers. We bless your name for healing us of our infirmities. In the name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. The best protection you can ever find is in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Proverbs 18:10 that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and is safe. The devil's primary assignment is to steal, kill and destroy. But you can be in the pavilion of the highest and find safety. The Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 1, He that dwells in the secret place of the highest shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place of God is your best hiding place and you would find solace and safety there. I declare over you that you will find safety in His name, in Jesus' name. I urge you to receive this declaration with faith. The Word of God in Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is your refuge and strength and a very present help in times of trouble. I pray for you that the Lord is your refuge and strength and He will always be your present help in times of trouble. In the name of Jesus, even though you pass through the waters, God will always be with you in your trying moments. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would never fall into the traps of the enemy. The word of God says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verses 3 to 5 that God is faithful. He will establish and guard you against the evil one. I pray for you that God will establish you in his word and also protect you from the powers of darkness. I pray for you that you are strong and of good courage. You are not fearful for God is with you. I decree that a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you will see the reward of the wicked in the land of the living. I decree over you that discretion will preserve you and understanding will keep you from the evil ones in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. I pray for you that the Lord covers you under his wings and underneath his secret place shall be your trust in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the wisdom of God preserves and keeps you and in the name of Jesus I pray that God carries you in his hands all the days of your life and you will never live his grasp. By the power in the name of Jesus I pray for you that you fear not because God is with you. I pray that God goes with you to fight for you against your enemies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God is for you. Therefore, no one is against you. 
I pray for you that God is your helper and you do not fear what man can do to you. In the name of Jesus, I scatter all the associations of demons that are plotting to cause you an accident. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the arrow that flies by day will never hit you. In the name of Jesus, you stay in God's presence and nothing takes you from his presence. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I pray that the Lord is good to you and he is your stronghold in the day of trouble. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord would preserve you from evil work and preserve you for his kingdom. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that God is your hiding place. God shall preserve you from trouble. God will surround you with songs of deliverance. I decree that the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil for God is with you. You are the apple of God's eyes. Therefore, you will not be harmed by the evil ones. God hides you under the shadow of his mighty wings and he will protect you from the wicked ones who oppress you. I declare over you that your eyes are fixed on God and your help and supply will always come from him in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Matthew eleven twelve that right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence and it is only those that are violent that will take it by force. This scripture simply means that to enforce God's will on earth, you have to do it forcefully because the devil and his cohorts hate when God's will manifests in the lives of his children. The only language that the kingdom of darkness understands is the language of violence. If you have not been violent in times past in enforcing the will of God for your life, now is the best time to do that. It is not too late to do that. The Word of God is the most potent weapon you have to overthrow the enemy's plans against your life. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This is the confidence that we have to confront the devil and all his cohorts with. Take these prayers, decrees and declaration I will make over you very intentionally. Please don't be casual about it as every word I'll be uttering won't fall to the ground. I decree over you that all the plans of the enemies against you fall to the ground. Now, none will see the light of the day. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the weapons of the enemies targeted at you are destroyed and I condemn all tongues wagging at you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I scatter all the gathering of the kingdom of darkness that have sworn not to eat and drink until they see you perish. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you that you would never fall prey to the traps that the enemies would strategically place to catch you. I cover you and all the members of your family with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will shield you from all evil. I nullify all the agenda of the devil and his cohorts orchestrated on you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the enemies will never divert all the resources that God has prepared for you. Whether the devil likes it or not for you, you will always triumph over him and all his minions. I decree that the plans of the enemies to frustrate all your efforts will be put to null and void. I decree that you put on the, all the armor of the Lord 
and you stand against the wiles of the devil in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3, that God is faithful and it will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. I pray over you that God is strengthening and protecting you from the evil ones around you. I pray for you that you submit to God. You resist the devil and he frees from you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Romans 8.37 that we are more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved us. I pray for you that you overcome the enemies all the time and they will fail in their plan to reinforce themselves. I decree that God is fighting for you and you hold your peace. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would never become an object of ridicule for the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that there is no stagnation, demotion or retrogation for you. I pray for you that the enemies will not steal, kill and destroy all the good things God has specially reserved for you in the name of Jesus. You walk in the abundance of life and all the days of your life. I pray for you that no matter the obstacles that come your way, you will always jump over them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that delay has ended in your life. From today, you begin to work in God's perfect timing for you. I pray for you again that you will know God's will for your life. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you the lines are falling for you in pleasant places and your path will keep on shining brighter every day even to the perfect day. Your victory is sealed already in the name of Jesus. There is this assurance you have and the assurance is that the Lord will be your safety and guide and he will protect you from the traps of the evil ones. Because his word says in Psalm 32 verse 7, You are a hiding place for me. You will preserve me from trouble. You will surround me with shouts of deliverance. The Lord has promised to be your hiding place because you are the apple of his eyes. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is safe. Your safety and protection are dependent on the need for you to always abide under the sacred place of the Most High. Now God's word says in Psalm 34 verse 7 that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. By this you are certain that you are protected by the Lord every day of your life. So today we will be engaging the name of the Lord to ensure that you are always protected in God's hands. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for all that are listening to this message right now. I pray that you will always protect them and their loved ones. They will not be hurt by the evil ones. I pray for you that you will find safety always in the name of Jesus and that the name of the Lord will be your strong tower and you will always hide under it all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. As 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. According to this word, I pray over you that the Lord will establish you and guard you against the evil ones that are guarded against you in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord will shield you against the attacks of the evil ones and you will be surrounded and heavily guarded by the host of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be strong and courageous. You will not be afraid of the wicked ones that are guarded against you. For the Lord your God will go ahead of you. He will neither leave you nor forsake you in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 2.11 says that discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. According to the word of God, I decree over you that God's wisdom will protect you and his understanding will guard you in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 4, 6 says that you should not forsake wisdom and you will be protected. Love her and she will watch over you. By virtue of that word, I pray for you that you will not forsake the wisdom of God and you will keep on loving her. And as you do these, he will protect you and watch over you in all areas of your life. 
you will take refuge in the Lord and as you do this you will sing for joy in the name of Jesus the Lord would always be your shield and the horn of your salvation he will always be your high tower where you will find safety and protection in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for you that you will call on the name of the Lord anytime you are in danger and as you do this he will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know the good Lord would answer you in the days of distress and he will protect you from the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I pray for you that the Lord will be your refuge and strength. He will always be your very present help in trouble. A thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. And in all of this, you will not be afraid. For the Lord will keep you and watch over you. And only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked in the land of the living. In Jesus' name. I decree over you that the wicked ones will not be able to snatch you away from the hands of God and in God's mighty wings you will find safety and assurance. The Lord will always be your shepherd. You will be led by the Lord to green pastures and he will protect you from ravenous wolves coming to devour you in the name of Jesus. Even if you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for the Lord will be with you. His rod and his staff will always comfort you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will always be watched over by the Lord. He will neither sleep nor slumber over you. Henceforth, you're going and you're coming are blessed in the name of Jesus. Now pray this prayer personally. Father, I pray for a hedge of protection around my physical body. Guard me against sickness, disease and accidents. Strengthen my immune system and keep me safe from harm. Grant me wisdom to make healthy choices and guide me in taking care of my body. In the name of Jesus, I pray for robust health and well-being. Lord, I lift up my loved ones before you and I ask for your divine protection over their lives. Shield them from any form of danger, both sin and unseen. Guard their steps, protect them from harm and surround them with your angelic presence wherever they go. Keep them safe in your loving care, O Lord. Gracious Father, I pray for spiritual protection in a world filled with temptation and darkness. Shield me from the snares of the enemy and help me stand firm in my faith. Clothe me with the armor of God, truth, righteousness, the gospel of peace, faith, salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. Strengthen my resolve to walk in holiness and protect me from the attacks of the evil one. Heavenly Father, I entrust my mind and my emotions into your hands. Protect me from anxiety, fear, and negative thoughts that seek to rob me of peace and joy. Fill my mind with your truth and guide me against the lies of the enemy. Guard me and grant me clarity of thought, emotional stability, and the peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, I pray for protection over my finances and material possessions. Safeguard me from financial loss, fraud and unexpected expenses. Guide me in making wise financial decisions and bless the work of my hands. Help me use my resources for your glory and the well-being of others. May my financial endeavors be protected and prospered by your hand. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. Thank you, Father, for hearing and answering our prayers. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. One important thing you need to have at the front of your mind is that the battle is of the Lord and not yours. Romans 8.31 says, If God be for you, who can be against us? Absolutely no one. The same Romans 8.37 says that you are more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved you. The Lord won the battle for you already over 2,000 years ago and now you have been made victorious over the antics and devices of the devil and his cohorts. 
But you need to realize that the victory that is your default state needs to be enforced because the devil will keep on fighting against you and he is never tired of doing this. Today we'll be enforcing the victory we have in Christ through faith. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for making us victorious and more than a conqueror in you. Blessed be your name in Jesus' name. I also thank you, Lord, for putting the wicked ones to flight. Thank you because the devil and his minions do not have a hold over us. Be thou exalted, Lord Jesus. This is the time when you will affirm these prayers. And I will say over you and your family, receive them in faith. In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you that all the devices of the wicked ones targeted at you will fall to the ground in Jesus' name. According to God's word in Revelation 12, 11, which says, And they overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. I stand upon the word of God that stands sure, and I say that you will continually overcome all the devices of the wicked ones, and your testimonies will put the devil into shame in the name of Jesus. Luke 10, 19 says you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Because of the word of God, I proclaim that you are trampling upon the wicked ones that are fighting against the will of God from coming to fruition in your life in Jesus name. I begin to uproot all the deeds that are not of God in your life and family in the name of Jesus. Psalm 35 one says that the Lord will plead your cause against those that strive with you. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim and declare that the Lord will begin to plead your cause against those that strive with you by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the powers of darkness that are bent and frustrating all your efforts are arrested and sent to the abbeys. James 4, 7 says, Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. According to the word of God that I've just said, I pray for you that you all submit to God always, and as you do this, the devil and his minions will flee from you. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 7 says, The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise against you will be defeated before you. According to the word of God, I pray for you that the Lord will cause all the enemies that are guarded against you to flee before you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the powers of darkness that are making you go around in a circle are destroyed and all the strangers that are operating subtly against the will of God are sent to Arby's. I send the fire of God upon the heads of the wicked ones that are working anti-God's will for you and your family. Anyone under the heavens that has sworn never to give you breathing space and cause you stagnation is put to shame by the power of Jesus. The reinforcement of the powers of darkness against you is carted in the name of Jesus. The Son of God has set you free and you are free indeed from all the oppression and suppression of the powers of darkness. That everything that is not of God in your life is leaving your life now, this instant in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and all your loved ones. The blood of Jesus will shield you from all the arrows of the wicked ones that are shut at you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus. I engage the ministry of angels to war against all the evil pieces of machinery of the wicked ones against you and your family. And I come against all the powers of the empty ears that want to render useless and fruitless all your labor in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the things the wicked ones have stolen from you are restored in sevenfold by the power in the name of Jesus as I bind all the powers of darkness that are working tirelessly to frustrate all the plans of God for your life from coming to fusion. Weapons formed against you and your family are destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Life itself is full of battles every day. The devil and his minions are doing all they could to frustrate the will of God for you and your family. This is why it is necessary that you put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to 
stand against the wells of the devil and his cool hearts. The battle against the forces of darkness is one that continues every day till Jesus Christ will come. He never stops trying to accuse and attack the children of God. He knows quite all right that he has been defeated over 2,000 years ago, but he would never concede defeat. The Bible says, however, in Psalms 27 verse 5, that on that day of trouble, he will conceal me in his tabernacle. He will hide me in the secret place of his tent. He will lift me up on the rock. God will keep on hiding you in his tabernacle and also hide you in a secret place. He has said that once you dwell in a secret place, you will abide under his shadow. Today, we will be praying against all the devices of the wicked ones targeted at you and your loved ones. Let us pray together in faith, knowing you will answer us. In the name of Jesus, I begin to engage the presence of the highest to fight against the wicked ones warring with you and your family. As Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Stop striving and know that he is God. Right now, I pray for you that you will stop fighting against the wicked ones with your physical strength. Psalm 27 verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom should I be scared of? I hereby stand upon the integrity of God's word and I decree that the Lord is your light and your salvation. He is your defense and the strength of your life in the name of Jesus. Psalm 121 verse 1 to 2 say, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I pray that the Lord will rise up and help you in all of your endeavors. The enemy's plan to frustrate God's help in your life is frustrated by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree that any time you sleep, you would do that in peace and without fear of being harmed by the evil ones in the name of Jesus. I command all the wicked ones that are guarded around you and your family be blown away as chaff before the wind. The way of the wicked against you will perish in the name of Jesus. Right now, the Lord will begin to laugh and all the devices of the evil ones targeted at you because they will fall and fail in the name of Jesus. The Lord will break the backbone of the wicked with an iron rod. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will smite all your enemies with all manners of evil plagues. They will face the wrath and judgment of the Lord right now since they have refused to stop attacking you in the name of Jesus. Just like Pharaoh and his chariots were drowned in the Red Sea, I decree that all your stubborn pursuers were drowned in the Red Sea by the power in the name of Jesus. The teeth of all the wicked ones are crushed and broken from their roots in the name of Jesus. Psalm 35 verse 1 says that the Lord will plead your cause with them that strive with you. He will fight against those that strive against you by reason of these words of God which never fail. I say right now that the Lord will begin to plead your cause against all the wicked ones that are fighting against you in the name of Jesus. And the counsels of the evil ones against you and your family will turn around to become foolishness just like the Way the counsel of Ahitophel became foolishness in the name of Jesus. The Lord will hide you and all your loved ones in a secret place. As you abide in a secret place, all the arrows of the enemy shut against you would not come close to you. All the wicked ones and their cohorts will be cast out in the multitude of their transgression in Jesus' name. I leverage on the power that is in that name on the integrity of God's word. I decree that all the enemies around you and your family will be totally ashamed and troubled in the name of Jesus. And I shoot forth the arrows of God and I send the lightning of God to discomfit the powers of darkness that refuse to give you breathing space in Jesus' name. 
You are planted in the courts of God and you will dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And I say that no distractions of the enemy will plug you out of his presence in the name of Jesus. The Lord would arise in his holy indignation and cause all the enemies of your life and family to be scattered. I decree in the name of Jesus that all the wickedness of the wicked is coming to an end right now and the Lord is preparing the instruments of death against all your stubborn adversary that have refused to stop pursuing you in the name of Jesus. The works of darkness against you and your family is exposed right now and the net that the wicked has spread for you to fall into it will not catch you. Rather, the wicked ones that are set this net for you will fall into that net they placed for you in the name of Jesus. Right now, I decree that the arm of the wicked upon your life is broken in the name of Jesus. Let the sorrows of your enemies be increased in the name of Jesus. And I say that all the oppressors and suppressors of your life and family are beating small as the dust before the wind in the name of Jesus. Well, bless your name, blessed Redeemer, for hearing and answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. If you believe that God has heard and answered your prayers, you can take a step of faith and type Amen in the comment section. Also do well with joy in your heart to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.